Hello beer nerds, I'm trying something new this week so if you like this video, be sure to give me your thoughts in the comments section below. But just like any products that play a big part in people's lives, beer has its share of crazy and dark urban legends. Today we're diving into one of the most morbid of these rumors and examining the psychology behind this disturbing story. It's the winter of 1966, and Lone Star Beer, a hugely popular Texas regional brand, was plagued by a terrible rumor. A dispute between a brewer and a finance professional escalates when the finance guy continued to push the brewer to make the beer cheaper and cheaper. One day, the brewer finally snapped after some more cost-cutting measures were announced. So he cornered the finance guy after most of the employees had gone home and managed to overpower him. He brutally cut off his hands and tossed him into one of the huge industrial vats full of beer. Without his hands, the finance guy was unable to escape and perished within the vat. After sealing the vat, the brewer skipped town to Mexico and the factory resumed its normal operations at least as normal as it could be down one brewer and one finance guy. A week later, after all the beer had been drained from the vat and canned and shipped away, a brewery employee discovered the decomposing corpse when they opened the vat for cleaning. Of course, there was no such dead man, but that didn't slow down the spread of this rumor by those who swear they heard a report about it on the radio. Lone Star was far from the first firm to have been deviled by a contamination whisper of the putrefying body nature. In 1934, the Chesterfield Cigarette Company was dealt a particularly telling blow by a rumor, likely started by a competitor, that a leper had been working in the factory. Therefore, all Chesterfield smokers risked handling cigarettes that had been through his diseased hands. Manufacturing versions of the ingestible contaminated by a dead body legend are easy to dismiss because no verifiable instances of stewed workers have made it into the news. True, on rare occasions folks have died from falling into foodstuffs that were being prepared, but they have always been fished out promptly. One such case in a brewery was the 1952 demise of San Francisco brewery worker John Reed. He had fallen into a vat of barley while it was being emptied and suffocated before rescuers could dig him out. The unnoticed deceased worker is a figment of lore, not reality. We generally tell these deceased worker tales for a couple of reasons. First, they speak to our ongoing mistrust of food and beverage companies. Should we really count on them to be all that careful about what goes into whatever they're preparing? If people can't see how the sausage is made, you know they're going to start to speculate. Second, these stories feed our fear of ending up an unnoticed death. In our overly mechanized and impersonal society, I could have a terrible accident and nobody would even know, much less be motivated to come to my rescue. Being an unnoticed death is an immense evolutionary fear. After all, nothing invalidates what you've done with your life, like no one noticing when you're gone. Both are powerful and deeply internalized themes which cause us to at least somewhat believe stories of this nature, especially when they're passed along to us by folks we trust. So what weird beer rumors have you heard? Let me know in the comments below and maybe it'll be a, the subject of a future video.